Hey guys, welcome back. This is the next part of the Cyborg Pixelar tutorial. So we're going to start off by doing some more black wool outlining so we can fill in the larger spaces. So we're going to start off with the black wool and we're going to make our way back to this one block that's going down to the left from these two black wools. I'll back up a bit so you can see where it is. It's the only one block that's by itself. So starting from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. So let's switch over to the light gray wool, starting underneath these three black wool. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, and three. So it should look like that as, there we go. Now, uh, let's see, we're going to switch back over to the black wool. And starting from the bottom block on the right side of these three light grays, so starting from that block there, we're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, and three. So it's linked like this. Now that we've done that, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to make our way back up here, going back to the link three that we had. Start, so starting from the top block on the right side of these three, so starting from this block, we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the right. At one and two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. At one and two. Now from here, we're going to be switching sides. We're going to go down to the left. We're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So it's one, two, one. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Set that down. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's 1. And now place two blocks going down on the left. So that's 1, 2. Now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now from here, we're going to be placing five blocks diagonal down to the left. So five diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, four, and five once you've done that we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left so that's one two and now place one block going down to the left that's one and now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left so that's one, two. And it should be making contact with this one black wool that we already had down here. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see the entire thing. And we've closed this area off to making this empty space available for filling in. But before we fill that in, we have to do just a quick outline. And to do that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to move down here back to this area and we're going to start from this one black wool here don't get confused with the one that's down here no we're going to start from this specific black wool on the right side of it so starting from there we're going to be adding 27 light grays going across to the right so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 that's 27 light grays going across. 
And once we've done that, we're going to be placing 15 uh, light grays going across on the lower level to the right. So 15. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And it should be making contact with the bottom block of these three black holes here. So I'll fly back over here and get rid of that placement block. And now I'm going to fly back to show you the entire thing. Because now we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces with two different type of blocks. So we're going to be needing the light gray wool and we're going to be needing the snow block. And like I did before in my previous parts, we're going to time lapse this area. So you don't have to spend five minutes of just silence of just me filling this area in. So pay close attention. The bottom area here, this empty space in between the black wool and the light gray wool down here, this is going to get filled in with the snow block. And once you fill this in with the snow block, you're going to switch over to the light gray wool, and you're going to be filling in the remaining large area up here with the light gray wool. So go ahead and do that. So bottom, snow, top area, light gray wool. So fill that in. So when we're done filling it in, it should look like that. We're going to be switching back over to the black wool now. We're going to continue some more outlining. And we're going to head back up here and back to where we had those three black wools going down on the left. We're going to start from the bottom block of these three, so starting from this block here. We're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And while we're at this, we're going to be switching over to the diamond block here and there. So we don't, won't have to go back to these specific large areas here and place the diamond block. So we're going to switch over to the diamond block real quick. And we're going to head back to the first set of twos. So in other words, the first twos that we placed, which is this here that's making contact with the three. Starting from the top block of this two, we're going to be placing four diamond blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And while we still have this placement block here, if you don't have it, go ahead and put it back. We're just going to be putting another diamond block on the left side of this placement block. So put one diamond block there. Now let's get rid of that. Now starting on top of the left block of the four diamonds, we're going to be placing three blocks across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to start on top of the left block of the three diamonds, and we're going to be placing two diamonds going across to the right. So that's one, two. I mean, it should look like this. Now we're going to head back down here to these two, the bottom, the last two that we placed of the four sets of twos. Starting from the top block of the two, we're going to be putting just one placement block on the left side. And then we're going to be switching over to the diamond block, and we're going to be putting one diamond block on the left side of the placement block, so it should look like that. Let's get rid of this. Now, starting on top of this diamond block, we're going to be placing three blocks across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be putting one diamond block on top of the left block of these three. So put one diamond block there, and it should look like this. Now we're going to be switching back over to the placement block, and let's head all the way back up here, back to where we first started off this area, this tutorial. Uh, let's go to these specific three black wolves, that the ones that have the three light gray wolves underneath it. So going to these three black wolves, starting on top of it with placement blocks, we're going to be putting two of them going across to the left. So that's one and two. It should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the diamond block, and we're going to be adding two diamonds across to the left of it. So that's one and two. Now we can go ahead and get rid of these. Now on top of these two, we're going to be placing another two blocks going across on top of the two diamonds. So that's one and two. So we have this square shape now. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block, and with the placement block starting on top of the left block of these two diamonds. So from here, we're going to be adding four placement blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to be switching back over to the diamond block, and we're going to be adding two diamonds going up on top of these four. So that's one and two. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. 
Okay, so now we're going to switch back over to the black wool, and we're going to continue doing the outline. So let's head back down here where we left off with the four sets of twos. So starting from that block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing six blocks diagonal down to the left. So six diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's get rid of the placements. And let's head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placements. And let's make our way back over here. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now place five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now that we've got that, uh, let's see, should we continue doing this outline? I kind of want to continue the main outline before I go too crazy here. So, the, our last thing that we're going to be placing here is we're going to be placing 11 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. That's 11 blocks. Let's fly over and get rid of that placement block. And let's see, we're going to be placing, yeah, let's place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Okay, this is going to be the last one, so that's one, two, three, and four. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block. Now with the placement block starting on top of the right block of the four black holes, so starting from here, we're going to be adding three placement blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to switch over to the diamond block, and with the diamond, we're going to be adding three diamonds going up on top of these three placements. So that's one, two, and three. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the placements. Go back up here to these three diamonds, and we're going to be adding another three diamonds standing right next to it. So going alongside of these three, we're going to add another three next to it. So that's one, two, three on the right. So we have this. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block. Now starting on the right side of the middle block of these three, so starting from there, with the placement block, we're going to be adding four of them going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black, or not the black wool, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. We're going to switch over to the diamond block again. And with the diamond block starting on the right side of these four placements, so from there we're going to be adding three diamonds going down. So that's one two, and three. And now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And let's head back over here. Now starting from the top block of these three on the right, so from here now, we're going to be adding four diamond blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, and four. And everything should look exactly like this. Alright, so now we're going to switch back over to, let's say, the black wool. We're going to leave this outline alone for now, and we're going to refocus our attention down here and try to get the main outline of his gun done first. So we're going to head back down here to these four black wools going across. That's on top of these five black wools, and right next to this area that we filled in with snow, I think in the last part. So, going back down here to these four, starting from the left block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to head back up here again, starting from the left block again of these four. So from here, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level, this time on the upper level to the left. Going across, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So we have this now. 
And now we're going to head back down here, going back to these two blocks, starting from the left block of it, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five blocks. Let's get rid of that placement block. And now that we have our five here, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So on the upper level, three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now let's get rid of the placements. And let's head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing seven blocks diagonal up to the left. So seven diagonal. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back up here. So now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two. And now starting from the top block on the right side of these two black walls, we're going to be placing one block on the right. So place one block there. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. So we have this simple shape like this. And now we're going to, let's see, while we're here, we're going to be switching over to the light blue clay. And with the light blue clay, we're just going to be filling in this empty space here with the light blue. Let's put one block there. And we're also going to be putting another light blue clay on top of this black wool as well. So put another block there. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. We're going to be placing one block on top of this one light blue clay. So put one black wool there. And now starting on the right side of this one block, this light blue, we're going to be placing another one black wool on the right. So put another black wool there. And now from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. Let's get rid of that. And now we're going to switch over to the light blue clay again. And we'll place two blocks on top, going across on top of these two black holes. So put one, two, like so. And now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool, starting on top of the right block of these two light blue clays. So starting from here, we're going to be placing four blocks diagonal down to the right. So four diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. So it should look exactly like this. Let's get rid of the placements. And now we're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down here. And now we're going to close this area off by placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And it should be making contact with the five black wolves that we had going across here. So now that we've got that, what we're going to be doing next is uh, we'll switch over to the blue stained clay. The light blue stained clay, that is. The light blue stained clay. And we're just going to fill in the remaining empty space that's right here with the light blue stained clay. I'm not going to time lapse it because it's a small part. So let's just fill this in with the light blue stained clay, and then we can continue on with the main outline, because we want to get that done first before trying to do any of the inner outlines, because if we make a mistake there, it's going to be a little harder to correct or even to catch if we don't have the main outline done first. Let's just get this done. There we go. Very nice, simple fill-in. Okay, so now we're going to be switching back over to the black wall, and let's head back over here, all the way to the left, back to where we had these two black walls that went up on the left. 
We're going to start from the top block of it, so starting from this block here. We're going to be placing 11 blocks diagonal up to the left, so 11 diagonal to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now let's get rid of the placements. And let's make our way back up. And now from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left. So three twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now let's get rid of the placement. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three. And I'll place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. Once we've done that, we're going to start on top of the right block of these three black walls. So starting on top of this block here, we're going to be adding four blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four. So we have this backwards L shape. And now starting up here, we're going to be placing six blocks going up on the left. So six on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's head back up here. And now from here, we're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the right. So we're switching sides, going up on the right, seven. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's head back down, get rid of that placement block. And we're going to head all the way back down here, back to where we had the backwards L shape, where we had the four black walls going up on top of these three black walls. So we're, this time we're going to start from the left block of these three blocks. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now let's get rid of that. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing eight blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight black walls. Let's get rid of the placement block. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be flying directly underneath the eight black walls that we just placed. In other words, uh, align yourself up with your Minecraft character to be perfectly under and aligned with the eight black walls. Once you've done that, you're going to look straight down and you're going to drop you're going to free fall without moving left or right or backwards or forwards. And you should land on the placement block that we put at the beginning of part one. Making uh, sure that you aligned it up with this black wool. So the eight black wools should be aligned up with the placement block here. And if it is, you're doing everything correctly so far. So congratulations for making it this far. Now I also noticed that I have a shadow glitch somewhere. I'm not sure exactly sure what it is. Or where it is, I should say. Because you can see the shadow right here of the outline, and then you see this extra little bump right there. That is what is known as a shadow glitch, and we're going to fix that real quick. I think it's right here. Yep, we fixed the problem. It's gone. Alright, so now we're going to fly all the way back up here. By the way, you can get rid of the placement block if you've uh, landed on it. And let's go back up to the top block of the eight black walls. So, starting from this block here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. It's actually not going to be just two. We're going to be placing three of these two. So it's three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. So again, to recap, from the one block that we had going up on the right, we had the three sets of twos that followed it. Now, we're going to get rid of the placement blocks, and again, it should have been making contact with the middle block of the seven black holes that we had going up. Now, before we advance with the outline, let's head back down here, going, not all the way back down, but let's head back to these three sets of twos. The first set of twos is going back to these two here. We're going to be placing one black wall underneath the right block of these two, so put one block there. 
And now from this one block, we're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Let's get rid of that placement block and we'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look like this so far. Now from here, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in all of these empty spaces here. It's a total of three empty spaces. So we got that small one, we've got this kind of skinny one, and we got this big space here. All these three empty spaces are going to get filled in with the light gray wool. So let's do that now. Again, it's a very small area here compared to the other large empty spaces that this pixel art has. So we don't have to time lapse it. So let's... Fill all of this in. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. And we're going to continue the outline by starting up here from the top block of these seven black wools. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So that's two sets of twos. Let's get rid of the two placements. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And let's see, we're also going to be, yeah, let's keep this placement block that we just placed to get to that one. Let's put this one placement block there underneath that one block that we just placed. And we're going to switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wall starting on the right side of this placement block that's underneath the one. So starting from here, we're going to be adding four blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's fly up here. And now from this block, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. So we're switching sides going up on the right, going four. That's one, two, three, four. And once we've done that, let's see, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now, starting on the right side of this one black wall, so starting from this block here, we're going to start from it. We're going to be adding 16 blocks going up from it. So starting from there, we're going to be placing 16. So that's one. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's sixteen black wools that went up that started on the right side of that one black wool. So it should look like this. Now we're going to head back down here. Going back to the top block of these four black wools that are making contact with this one block. So starting from this block here. We're going to be placing five blocks diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be switching sides. We're going to go up to the right. We're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. And I place one block going up to the right. That's one. And I'll place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. 
So that's one, two. And as you can see, it should be making contact with the 16 black wolves that we had going up. So now heading back to these two that we just placed, starting from the left block of it, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the left. At one. Oops, that's one and two. And now to close it off, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's fly up, get rid of that placement block, and now we'll fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look like this so far. Because now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool, and with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in all of these four empty spaces here with the light gray wool. So let's fill in these four empty spaces. Another smallish part that we don't really need to time lapse. So let's get filling in with this. There are a few large areas that we're going to get to. I believe it's going to be in the next part. It's not going to be in this part because this part, we're just mainly focusing on the major outline. So we don't have to get confused with the smaller outlines that we'll be making inside the pixel art. So let's fill that in, and there we go. Should look like this. A very simple filling in with the light gray. Alright, so now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool once you're done filling that in. And we're going to start from the top block of the 16 black wools that we had going up here. So it's going to be starting from this block here. So starting from there, we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal up to the right. So two diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those two placements. And now we're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's four twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing three sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And you can see on the right screen that we are actually poking back into the visual view of the, of the second camera. All right, so we're all the way up the top left corner. Okay, on the right screen anyways. So now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So going across five, that's one, two, three, four, five. Now starting on top of the right block of these five black bolts, so starting from this block here, we're going to be adding four blocks going up on top of it. So that's one, two, three, four. So again, we have another backwards L shape. And now that we have that, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So going across three blocks, that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal down to the right. So it's 1, 2, and 3. Now, starting underneath this one black wall, so starting from here, 
we're going to be adding three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, and three. And now starting underneath the left block of these three black wools, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look exactly like this. I know it looks a little confusing and a little weird, but it's pretty simple. And this is just for later on when we get to the next part. But right now, let's continue with the main outline. Let's head back to these three blocks that went across to the right. Starting from this block here, the right one, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing 13 blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's 13 diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And we're going to fly all the way back down here now that we've placed our 13 blocks. Uh, we're going to start underneath this one black wall, the last block that was the 13 of these black walls. So starting from this block here, what we're going to be doing is placing five sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So starting from here, five sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. One, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. So again, that's five sets of twos. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And we're going to head back down here, going back down to this L shape that we created since we started with the five sets of twos underneath 13 here. We're going to start from the right block of these two black walls. So starting from this block here. What we're going to be doing next is placing six black wolves going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's get rid of the placements. And let's head back down here. And we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now, starting from the top block of these two black walls, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look like this so far. Now we're going to head back down here, going back to these two black walls here, where we started from uh, before we place these three, comes the moment of truth. So, starting from the bottom block of these two black walls, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing five black walls going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And it should be making contact with these two black walls that we already had here, that came after these nine black walls that we placed. So let's get rid of the placement blocks, and if it made contact with these two black walls, you're doing everything correctly so far. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see a good portion of it. Because I know the video on the right, or I should say, the, not the video, but the screen on the right side doesn't really capture everything. Just because this is one is a very wide pixel art. Okay, so we pretty much got the main outline done. I'm not sure if I actually want to continue on with it just a little bit more in this tutorial part. Because I don't want to get into the confusing, weird kind of stuff that we have to get into in a little bit later in this part. But you know what? Uh, we might actually 
go and finish kind of like the inner parts. Why not? We'll make this a good long video so we don't have to waste that much time or we don't have to rush in the next one. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to fly all the way back down here, back to where I left off and I started with the main outline. So let's fly all the way back down here where we had the diamonds as well. We'll make this a little bit longer than usual. I know some people are going to be like, you said 30 to 45 minutes. Well, this is taking a lot longer than I wanted to. Okay. So starting from the left block of these four black holes, so starting from this block here, what we're going to be doing is placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two, uh, not two, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of these placements. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. And now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to start from the two blocks here. We're going to start from the bottom block of these two here on the left side. So starting from there, we're going to be adding seven blocks going across to the left with the light gray wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. Let's fly up. Get rid of that placement block. And now let's switch back over to the black wall. Let's head back over here to the two. It's going back over here. We're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. And one, two, three. Let's get rid of the placements. And what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the placement blocks. And we're going to start from the first set of twos that we had the three sets of two. So this is the first, second, and third. We're going to start down here at the first two. Starting from the top block on the right side of it, we're going to be adding four placement blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Now, once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the diamond block. Now, with the diamond block, we're going to be placing one block on the right side of it. So that's one. And now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back over here to this one. Starting underneath it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one and two. Now place one block underneath the right block of these linked two. So put one block there. And now starting underneath this one block, we're going to be adding two blocks going across to the right. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be finishing this off by placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Now that we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the black wall. And let's head back over here to the left, going back to the three sets of twos. 
So starting from up here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching over to the placement block, and with the placement block starting from the top block of these three, we're going to be placing one block on the right side of it, so put one placement there. And switch over to the diamond block, and we're going to be adding two diamonds across to the right from this placement, so that's one and two. Now let's get rid of the placement block. Starting on top of the left block of these two, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing five diamonds going across to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And now starting on top of the right block of these five diamonds, so starting from this block here, we're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. Once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the black wall. Let's head back over here, back to the three black walls that went up on the left, starting from the top block of it. We're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing ten blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's fly down, get rid of that placement block. Now let's fly back up. And from here we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And uh, again, making sure that we did switch to the right, because we're done going to the left, we're moving up to the right. Again, so be aware of when we're switching sides, going to the left and right, alright? So we already had these five here, so we're going to be placing two blocks now going up on the right. So that's one, two. And we're going to be switching over to the placement blocks again. Now, starting from the top block on the right side of these two black walls, we're going to be adding three placements going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching over to the diamond block and place one diamond block on the right side of those three. So that's one. Now let's get rid of the placements. Now, starting from this one diamond block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. So that's one. Let's get rid of that. Now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Let's head back over here to the two black wools we had going up. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three. And now you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to be placing seven blocks diagonal up to the right, so seven diagonal to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of those placements. And let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of those. And now we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Moving back to the first set of twos that we had of the two sets of twos. So this is the first and this is the second. So we're going to the first set of twos. Starting underneath the right block, we're going to be placing one placement block underneath the right. So it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the uh, gold, not gold, but diamond block. Starting underneath the placement block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And we can go ahead and get rid of that. And now we can uh, go ahead and put, let's see, a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So a linked two, so that's one, two. 
And we're now we're going to be adding another two blocks going across directly underneath these two blocks that we already have here. So that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one and two. So it should look exactly like this. So now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Let's head back to the two black walls going across up here. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two sets, not two sets, just two blocks. That's my bad. Just two, just two regulars <laughs> going across on the upper level to the right. So there's no set, just regular two. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. Again, all we had was just one block, and then we just had these two. Okay, now we're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those. Let's fly back up here, and now from here we're going to be placing five black wolves going across on the upper level to the right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna switch over to the placement block. Now starting from the middle block of these five black wolves, so starting from this block here, we're gonna be adding three blocks going down from the middle block with placements. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the diamond block, and with the diamond block starting underneath the placement block, so starting from there, we're going to be adding two diamond blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. Now let's get rid of the placements. And now we're going to add two diamonds going across underneath these two diamonds that we already have here. So that's one, two. So we have this square shape. Now let's switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back up here to these five black wools going across, starting from the right block. So from here, we're going to be placing eight blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's fly over, get rid of that placement block. Let's fly back over here. And we're going to switch over to the placement block, starting underneath the right block of the eight black wools. So starting from here, we're going to be adding four placement blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the diamond block and starting underneath the four placement blocks. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three diamonds going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to add another row of three diamonds going underneath these three that we have here. So that's one, two, three. So we get this rectangle shape. And now let's get rid of the placements. And let's switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back up here to the eight blocks that we had. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Again, that's the lower level. We're not going on the upper level anymore. Going down low. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block, starting underneath the right block of the five black wolves. So starting from here, we're going to be adding four placements going down. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to switch over to the diamond block, and we're going to be placing one diamond block underneath the four placement blocks. So put one diamond block there. And now from this one diamond block, we're going to be placing another block going down to the right. So that's one. I'll get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look like this. Okay, so now we're going to be, let's see, switching back over to the black wool now. Let's head back up here to the five. We're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now, to close this off, we're going to be placing... Five sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's five sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. And they should be making contact with these other three blocks that we had. So let's get rid of the placement blocks and now fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. 
Now there's one more thing we're going to do before we end this tutorial part. We're going to switch over to the placement block, and we're going to head back to these three diagonal blocks that uh, made contact with the five sets of twos that we just placed. So going back to these three black holes here, we're going to start from the first block, in other words, the block down here that's making contact with these two black holes. So we're going to start from this black hole here. On the left side of it, so starting from here, we're going to be placing a total of seven placement blocks going across to the left from it. So starting from there, seven placement blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then switch over to the diamond block and place one diamond block on the left side of it. And it should look like that. Let's get rid of these seven placement blocks. And there we go. We've completed uh, pretty much the main outline and somewhat of the main inner outline. But what I really wanted to get done was these annoying diamond blocks that are pretty much scattered and don't even have any real pattern to it. This is what I really want to get done. The outline with the diamond blocks. So we won't have to worry about it in the final part. The next part will be the final part, and it's just going to be doing very easy, simple outlining, and then just the rest would be filling in and just tracing the outline. So I got the hard, annoying, complicating part done with these scattered stuff, so the next one will definitely be the final part, and it's going to be easy, and it's going to be fun, because we're going to have the... I'm, I'm not even sure what it's called. It's like a buster. It's like a Mega Man buster, but it's cool either way. So... Make sure to stay tuned in for the next final part, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos, because as of today, as of the, the time that this is going to be uploaded, I've reached 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, so it's exciting. I don't know, I might make a special video, I might not, who knows, it's up, it, it's up in the air, I've got a lot of things to do. So either way, yay, happy 50k, and of course, like I mentioned before, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.